Rob Schneider has publicly asked for forgiveness from his daughter, the singer Elle King, following her recent appearance on Bunny Exos, Dumb Blonde podcast, where she harshly criticized his views on LGBTQ rights and drag culture. King's candid remarks on the podcast shed light on the deep-rooted tensions between her and her father, as she described their relationship as toxic and expressed a lack of interest in mending their bond. Elle King, known for her soulful voice and hit songs like X's and O's, opened up about her difficult upbringing and the strained relationship she had with Schneider, particularly highlighting his disapproval of her appearance and self-expression during her youth. King recalled being sent to a fat camp by her father and being reprimanded when she didn't lose weight after an injury. She also mentioned how her father's disdain for tattoos and other forms of self-expression made her feel disconnected from him at a young age. During the podcast, King did not hold back her feelings about Schneider's recent political statements, particularly his outspoken opposition to drag culture and LGBTQ rights. She criticized his comments, saying, you're talking out of your ass and you're talking shit about drag and, you know, anti-gay rights. And it's like, get fucked. King emphasized that she strongly disagrees with many of Schneider's views and doesn't want to be associated with him due to his increasingly conservative stance on social issues. Schneider, who has become more vocal about his conservative beliefs in recent years, recently drew widespread attention for his criticism of the 2024 Olympics opening ceremony. He took to social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, to condemn what he perceived as a tableau mimicking The Last Supper featuring drag queens. Schneider's post read, I am sorry to say to all the world's greatest athletes, I wish you all the best, but I cannot watch an Olympics that disrespects Christianity and openly celebrates Satan. I sincerely hope these Olympics get the same amount of viewers as CSBN. In response to King's remarks, Schneider appeared on Tucker Carlson's show, where he addressed the situation with a message of love and regret. He expressed sorrow over his past actions as a father, admitting that he wasn't the parent King needed during her formative years. I just want to tell my daughter, Elle, I love you, and I wish I was the father in my 20s that you needed. Clearly, I wasn't, Schneider said. I hope you can forgive me for my shortcomings. I love you completely, and I love you entirely." When Carlson asked how he managed to refrain from retaliating against his daughter's public criticism, Schneider replied with a sentiment of unconditional love. If you love someone completely, I love her. All I want for her is to be happy and to heal from this, he said, adding that he doesn't take her harsh words personally. Despite Schneider's attempt to extend an olive branch, King made it clear during the podcast that she is not interested in rekindling their relationship. She expressed a desire to distance herself from him, stating, I don't want to be associated with him because he's just not nice. The public exchange between Schneider and King has sparked discussions about the complexities of parent-child relationships, especially when compounded by differing political and social beliefs. As Schneider seeks reconciliation, it remains uncertain whether their relationship can heal from the years of estrangement and differing ideologies.